kuundwa kwa mfumo ugatuzi ili kuwa na kusudio la kupeleka huduma za serikali karibu na mwananchi ni miaka kumi sasa tangu kuundwa kwa serikali hizo al maarufu kama county governments na bado zinakumbwa na changamoto sihaba huku wananchi wakikosa kupata huduma muhimu kama vile maji huduma za afya usalama na utekelezwaji wa ajenda kunne za serikali na kulingana na wakazi wa mji wa Mombasa hali ya maisha ingali ni ngumu huku wakidai kukosa huduma hizo muhimu licha ya kuwa na serikali za ugatuzi hizi changamoto za likoni alikoni tumeshaipata kuanzia mwanzo mpaka mwisho mnamo tarehe 19 mwezi wa 4 saa 5 usiku nilikuja na bibi yangu hapa ambapo alikuwa karibu kujifungua nilipofika nilifukuzwa pamoja na daktari mpaka nyumbani hapo saa sita usiku sikuwa na ulikuwa na wakati wa kafyo sina njia kwenda na bibi yuko kwa wana kufanya nini nikatembea na bibi yangu mpaka nyumbani nikofika ndani ya chumba bibi akajisikia kwenda kutusaidia baada ya kujisaidia, kujisipa ndio kujisaidia, nikasikia sauti ndani ya choo. Baada ya kufukuzwa hapa ndani ya hospitali, na mtoto mwenyewe hata nikutolea picha yuko hapa ndani ya picha yangu ambapo anaitwa Esther kwa sasa. Ule mtoto bibi yangu nilimzalisha mwenyewe ndani ya choo, hata ningepoteza bibi na mtoto ndani ya choo. Ikabidi nje hapa asubuhi baada mtoto kuzaliwa ile nyumba ya mtoto ikakosa kutoka. Nikatembea na bibi yangu mmoja kwa moja na wajirani nikaleta hapa mbibi akabaki hapa nikabaki kama hiyo kitu kitakapotoka nikija asubuhi daktari akaanza kusomea akanikafukuza kwamba nimeleta fujo kwa sababu ya kuleta fujo ilikuwa ya kwamba madaktari wa likoni hawaangalii masilea wa wagonjwa wala wa mama usalama ni swala ambalo kwamba linawakera wengi huku wengi o waliozungumza nasi wakikiri kuwa tatizo hilo limesababishwa na ukosefu wa ajira miongoni mwa vijana na uraibu wa mihadarati huku wengi wakiwa na hofu kuwa huenda tatizo hilo likakithiri baada ya rais uhuru kenyata kutoa amri ya marufuku ya kafi ila mgala muwe na haki yake umpe vijana hao wamejitokeza hadharani na kujieleza vilivyo huku wakitoa dukuduku lao e, tukiongelea general usalama bado manake bado serikali inajaribu lakini bado Ina, inabidi waingie zaidi kinachochangiza ni vijana wetu wadogo hao ndio wanatatiza kama sasa hii pia kafi imefunguliwa ni nzuri kwa sababu tutafanya biashara lakini tayari tushaanza kuogopa kwa sababu bado tuna ile leo uoga tunaweza kwenda kweli umetoka kwa biashara yako na kijana akaanza kukupora zile zile pesa ulizozitafuta akaenda nazo leo kwa youth hawana ujira sisi tulipigana ndugu zetu wapate ujira baharini leo hao youth hata tukavosaidia leo sisi tushazuiwa wiki hatuwezi kwenda baharini sisi ni watu wa old town ni watu wa coast tukishazuiwa sisi kwenda baharini hebu niambie wasi next tutafanya nini kwa kweli tulikuwa watu wabaya lakini watu wabaya yetu si hati kwa sababu kwa tutakuumiza watu wala nini kwa sababu hamna majira kabisa na mimi hii kaoshi ni yetu na leo tunamwalika manshaba hapa hichi kiwanja ni chetu cha community lakini mpaka sasa hivi tunaona kaosha hawezi kutujia hapa kwa sababu unajua ile wakati wetu sisi tulipokuwa wakaona hapa kwa wakati wa mifungo ya gari kuosha itakuwa ni vigumu tuweza wafanyia jambo la baya lakini sisi tunaomba tu kitu kidogo tu hatutaki mingi hata hatutaki shilingi wala hata kinini tutaka kufunguliwa hapa design ya camel joints ile mambo ya seafood kila pale kuna uzo shawarma ya kuku kuna uzo nyama lakini kuna samaki na hii samaki ndio yenye nguvu sasa hii kuku anadunga sindano na mwezi mmoja vijana wengi sasa hivi wamepoteza matumaini wamepoteza imani hususan kwa viongozi wa kisiasa so inatokea pia wale vijana wa, wanakosa ile imani na wakipoteza imani sasa ndo maana pale wanakaa maskani wanaanza kutumia ule uraibu na pia ule uraibu vile vile unachangia wengine kufanya vitu ambavyo sio sahihi. So mimi naweza sema vijana wengi kitu ambacho kinawasukuma kuwa ni ile pressure yenye ambao wanaipata kutoka kwa vijana wenzao na pia wanapata pressure hususan sana sana 
uh, kwa, kwa mitandao ya kijamii. Tuseme sasa nimekuona umeajiriwa, nimeona mwenzangu pengine ameajiriwa nyumbani ninaambia angalia mwenzako. Angalia fulani, angalia fulani. So ukiambole angalia huyu, angalia huyu na wewe ukijaribu unaona hufikiwi unaamua kufanya vitu ambavyo sio sahihi. Kuchifu akiwataka wazazi kuwajibika vilivyo na kuhakikisha kuwa watoto wao hawajihusishi na magenge ya uhalifu. Nimesikiza sikiza. Nimesikia vijana wanaumia kwa aidha risasi ya askari ama tairi ya mwananchi. Na nikasikia mnasema vijana hawa ni sababu ya ukosefu wa kazi. Si ndio hivyo? Wanaumia sababu ya Sisi lao nitafungua listi yangu ya majambazi. Wengi wao wako miaka 18 kwenda chini. Vijana wa form 23 katika shule fulani fulani. Je, kijana miaka 16 anataka ajira wapi? Anataka ajira wapi? Hebu tuangalie ni ukweli. Eh, huyu ni kijana anataka awe shule. Kwa nini ashike panga aumize watu? Amekosa kazi huyu. Kwa hivyo si maswala ya kukosa kazi. Si maswala ya kukosa kazi. Ni shida ambayo sisi kama jamii tumeilea. Poleni kusema hivi, yasikitisha. Kweli. Lakini miaka mitatu iliyopita tumeshuhudia vijana chuga day form 2 ameuawa mwanazika form 3 ameuawa mwana sasa wajiuliza huu mtoto wa form 2 huu wa form 3 alikosa kazi wapi tupe suluhisho bwana shivu suluhisho ni nini ni watoto wa shivu wamekuwa school ama waliwe na waomba mnisikize na waomba mnisikize kwa makini mimi sijazaliwa nyani na wenzetu walika langu aliyanga pale na wengine hatujazaliwa nyani tumezaliwa hapa kisaumi mbona hatukua hivyo Mbona hatukua hivyo? Malezi. Tukubalini. Tumelegea pahali katika malezi yetu. Wakati wa maandalizi ya makala haya, mimi na mpiga picha wangu Pita Maseke tuliweza kuzuru ofisi ya kamishna huyo ili kutathmini hali halisi ilivyo na kulingana naye mji wa Mombasa ni salama na mikakati thabiti imewekwa kuhakikisha kuwa amani haivurugwi hasa msimu huu wa siasa. Nataka kusema tu kwa ujumla kwamba kuna ushirikiano mzuri sana hapa Mombasa kati ya wazee wa amani, wale wa peace committee, wale wa kidini na viongozi wa kina mama. Tuko na ushirikiano mzuri sana ambaye imechangia ile amani tuko nayo. Kama nikuipatia asilimia nitaiwekea asilimia 98. Hali iko shwari. Ni mambo madogo madogo ambaye ni kawaida kwa mji mkuu mji mkubwa kama wa Mombasa. Wakati wa siasa unajua hii ni wakati ambaye iko katika katiba yetu. Kwamba itafikia wakati siasa itafanywa watu waombe kura wapate kura. Kwa hivyo ni haki ya kila mtu kuomba kura. Lakini wakati huu ukijua ile mambo ya campaign period haijatangazwa. Ni ile tu wanasiasa wameshikwa na michecheto wanaanza mapema. Lakini naomba kwamba mtu akifanya campaign zake mwingine asiingilie kuiharibu. Hiyo haitavumiliwa. Nataka watu wafanye campaign zao kwa njia ambayo ni nzuri wananchi wachagua wala wamemchagua bila kushurutishwa hata kidogo. Kulingana na takwimu ya mwaka 2020 iliyotolewa na Kamishna wa Kaunti ya Mombasa Gilbert Kitio, visa vya uhalifu sehemu za Likoni na Kisauni vilipungua kufuatia kuwekwa kwa marufuku ya kutotoka nje al maarufu kama kafyu. Na vitu nyingi sana tume juhudi ya kuhakikisha kwamba vijana warudi tunashirikiana na mashirika yasiyo ya kiserikali kama kuna reinvent na, na, na wengine kuhakikisha kwamba hao vijana wanahamasishwa vilivyo kwamba hakuna haja warudi tena kwa mambo ya uuni na kuna vijana karibu elfu moja ambao wamesarenda tangu mambo ya kafyu ingia ambao wamejisalimisha kabisa na wamewacha hiyo tabia na wamewekwa katika vikundi ya kujifanyia mambo yao ya kiuchumi. Kwa hivyo hatuna matarajio kwamba 
hata kama huu nitarudi haitafikia ile kiwango ambayo ilikuwa hapo awali Ujibu wa viongozi wa kisiasa tuliweza kuzungumza naye bwana Abdusalam Kasim ambaye ni mwaniaji wa mara ya tatu wa kiti cha seneta huku Mombasa na kutueleza jinsi serikali inapaswa kuzidisha elimu ya uraia kwa umma kuhusu usajili wa piga kura mashinani ili kufikia idadi kubwa ya vijana So this only thing is to educate them you know and um, uh, actually giving them the right the right uh, tools to understand you mm -hmm. know giving them training uh, bring uh, other youth you know meet them into uh, where they, they 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 congregate together tell them actually why they should elect somebody who is more de uh, in, into development mm -hmm. rather than to uh, pr you know this is why uh, i have this is now what i'm doing i go and sit with the um, with the communities uh, among them the youth mm -hmm the women the older people i don't go and lecture them i don't go and tell them anything mm -hmm. i go and listen to them fast and then ask them how can we solve this problem then we mm -hmm. it becomes like um, a normal talk that we can talk together mm -hmm. and then the best idea is what i i, I adapt okay and then this is why i'm saying look we can use this mm -hmm. but using this we need somebody who who's who's able to do it you know and this is what I, I'm, i'm always giving them you see if somebody comes and ask you mm -hmm. uh, to elect them I have a right question why should we elect you mm. what is the problems in Mombasa Rugenzi wa elimu katika kaunti ya Mombasa bwana Peter Magiri amesema kuwa wamebuni jopo la kujadili masuala ya usalama wakishirikiana na vyombo vya usalama ili kuhakikisha kuwa utovu wa nidhamu shuleni unakabiliwa vilivyo So that person who comes to the board must be uh, somebody who wants to give voluntary service to the community Three we also Uh, want to get members who are politically neutral because if you bring politicians or somebody with a political inclination to a school the school will be divided and it may be propagating the interest of politics in the school other than the academic uh, uh, progress of the school and four we also wanted to, to tell our chiefs and our other other panels that the school when we talk about the school We are talking about the radius that can extend up to the whole of this country, the face. So that we don't just get members who are surrounding the school. A school can get membership of the board from as far as uh, anywhere within the boundaries of Kenya. Or even if somebody is working outside this country, but as uh, the interest of the school, he can be uh, proposed for nomination. And then we have also told them that uh, What they are making is proposal. The county education board has the honors of now uh, making the final uh, move of appointment because by law is the county education board that is given uh, the mandate to nominate or to appoint the boards of management. So I'm saying this one so that uh, even if somebody is told he has been proposed or she has been proposed here and then uh, she is not nominated at the end of the day you should know that this is a nomination and it is not the appointment that is uh, what we wanted to stress and i think our chiefs and uh, all the other members have got it and we are praying that uh, we will get the members who will put education education for their our children at that we also uh, appealed to our parents because i know i address the the parents in one of the schools and uh, it went around like the way it, this one will go around and i told them let us let us look at this thing as for all of us sio ya shule so jukumu ya mzazi afanye ile yake mwalimu afanye ile yake na zote tusaidiane kusaidia hiyo mtoto so i think that is what uh, has given us that so i may not comment about other places because Mungu ametujalia Mombasa tumetulia. Ngozi wa kidini vile vile wamekuwa mstari wa mbele kuhakikisha kuwa vijana wanaelekezwa vilivyo usalama upo na huduma zinamfikia mwananchi na haki ya wachache inatekelezwa. Katika miaka kumi za ugatuzi kwa kweli viongozi wa kidini kupitia shirika hili la IRCK tumejaribu kufikia kaunti ya Mombasa ili wapate wahamasisho sana sana Uh, uh, sentisization sentisization ni mambo ambayo 
tumejaribu kama viongozi wa kidini ili tupate kupatana na kaunti ya Mombasa ili mwananchi wa Mombasa apate kujua haki yake. Kidogo hasa upande wa afya haijatoka vyema. E upande wa afya tumeona county government kidogo wametuchenga. Mara kwa mara tunapojaribu kuwafikia tumeona atupati mwafaka, atupati njia ya kuwafikia vizuri ili mwananchi wa Mombasa pate huduma hasa za kiafya manake tukiangalia za nati zetu dispensary zetu zi nyingi zime zimekuwa katika hali ambayo sio nzuri e, zimeoza zingine hata huduma wananchi hawapati katika njia iliyofaa hata sasa hii unasikia madaktari waligoma e, wananchi wanateseka wengi wanaingia katika private hospitals e, na tunataka tuwamashishe vijana wetu wawachane na mambo ya kulagawiwa la kudanganywa la ku uwekwa mambo ya kupromisiwa na pesa nyingi baadaye wanakuja kupata shida e, ili warudi katika maadili yao ya kidini warudi na wajiunge na jamii warudi na waangalia mashala zao na maisha yao ya usoni katika maendeleo katika nyanjani hivyo viongozi hao wa kidini wamezidi kuasihi waumini kufuata masharti yaliyowekwa na Wizara ya Afya ikishirikiana na serikali kuu ili kudhibiti msambao wa virusi vya corona wakati wa warsha ya Interfaith Council for National Response to Coronavirus Pandemic sana twasisitiza watu wapate chanjo ya corona kwa sababu corona ipo haijaisha na pia watume maji lakini si unajua binadamu wetu kile wanapoambiwa wanasikiza lakini hawafati lakini bado tunahimiza lakini kufata ndo shida na shida yake kubwa sana kujikinga na corona ni kuosha mkono na kutumia mask lakini sasa changamoto imekuja maji ni shida eneo letu la pwani maji paka tununua kutoka kwale tununua kutoka taita na sasa nyingine tuwafungiwa kama those two weeks ilikuwa kuna shida ya maji sasa mtu ukimwambia weka maji ya kuosha mkono anaanza kuambia mimi nitanunua plastic la maji kwa 30 bob alafu niweke hapo iwe kitumiwa ovyo wakati sijaoga ukiangalia pia unaona ni changamoto sasa tunaomba pia serikali ya county serikali kuu izingatie itafute njia mbadala ya kutafuta njia sisi tuweze kusaidika kwa maji na ndo janga la corona litapungua Ripoti ya runinga ya Al Shifa nikiwa Mombasa langu jini ni Amina Abdurrahman